Frigid temperatures, snow and icy roads kicking off the Christmas holiday travel weekend here in Montana. And it looks like we're in for another round of snow late tonight into tomorrow as winter tightens its grip here on the Big Sky State. Our Chief Forecaster Bob McGuire joining us on set tonight with details on what this busy holiday weekend forecast has in store for us, Bob. It's getting very close to us. Let me show you. We go right now to the Doppler radar, and as you can see, uh, we've got a few scattered snow showers out there. Let me show you. We'll zoom in a little closer. Take a look at that. Yeah, that thing's getting real close. That's over in Stillwater County, and we'll move up a little bit farther to the north, and you'll see there's the rest of the snow. It's already starting to make its way down into the Billings area. So it's just a matter of uh, maybe another half hour or so. This stuff is going to make it into Yellowstone County, and then it'll start to snow in here probably for most of the night. Here's what we have going for us. It's a winter weather advisory up on the higher elevations around like Great Falls in Kalispell, Missoula. Could see 7 to 11 inches of snow up there. Uh, maybe 3 to 6 inches of snow in the valleys. Here in Billings, it's more like 2 to 4 inches of snow expected uh, throughout tomorrow and Saturday. And look for slick roads. And how much more snow are we going to get? Well, according to the latest computer model, it looks like Billings is going to pick up a little over 3, maybe 3 and a half inches of snow for us. Places like Livingston will see 7 and a half, uh, maybe 8 inches of snow at Bozeman. Going the other way, maybe about an inch over Mile City and Glendive also around an inch of snow. Our forecast, we'll have more on that in a few more minutes. All right, thanks, Bob. Local road conditions still quite dangerous tonight, especially from Columbus to Reed Point, where around 6 p.m. this evening, a jackknife semi truck shut down both of the westbound lanes of Interstate 90. Pilot cars led traffic through that accident scene as only a single lane was open as of 8.30 this evening. Now, that incident in the same area where early this morning three semi trucks slid off the icy highway. That crash around 6 a.m. blocked both westbound lanes just east of the Reed Point Interchange, backing up traffic for several hours. It has been a very busy last 24 hours for local emergency crews responding to multiple reports of jackknife semis. Those accidents, as you see, spread from Joliet down south on Highway 212 to the Columbus area up on Interstate 90. Well, tonight, rush hour traffic through downtown Billings moved much smoother than it did on Wednesday night. Take a look on the left-hand side of the screen, the backup of traffic along 4th Avenue North from Wednesday evening as the snow started to turn streets icy. And compare that to the other side of the screen. This is the traffic moving down 4th Avenue around uh, 430, quarter to 5 tonight. Pretty steady rush hour traffic, but as you see, nothing compared to the snarl from Wednesday night.